Over 1,500 students came together from both Penticton High and Princess Margaret Secondary Thursday for an outdoor Remembrance Day ceremony. This year we decided that considering it's the 100th anniversary uh, since the first Remembrance Day, we decided we wanted to make this year a little um, different, a little more special. Grant and Robinson started working on the ceremony in August. They decided to highlight the story of a local young man named Jonathan Snyder, who died serving in Afghanistan in 2008. As your hand left mine, I swore that it wouldn't be the last time. My sister wrote the song that I sung, the letter. Yeah. So it was an original piece written by her and um, it was just based off of kind of a general soldier, but we decided that we wanted to make it a little more personal for everyone here. Yeah. So um, we decided to add uh, letters. They, they weren't actually Jonathan's letters. They were ones uh, written on behalf of him or like from his point of view in order to fit in with the song. And then we had boys from both uh, Princess Margaret and Penticton Secondary to read them for us. Princess Margaret leadership students also set up a mock First World War trench for students to walk through before being bussed to the ceremony. Memorial wreaths were laid, and then silence fell in Gyro Park for an emotional moment of remembrance. Chelsea Powery, Castanet News, Penticton.